it going everyone? AFC Finners here in Oxfordshire. We're here to see Northley. Not seen the ground in this kind of position, just on the side of a dual carriageway. And here in the woods, you walk through a little bit and the ground is there. We've got here nice and early because a nice chat from the club has allowed us early access. So we're going to, for the first time, get a real insight into a team. Luciano's joined us. He's just parked over there. We decided to do this one because it's only... 10 minutes from his hometown of Whitney in Oxfordshire. I like that it's hidden away amongst the trees. All right, boys, here nice and early. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, Whit the Whitney native, you've been here before? I have not been here before, no. Uh, it's only a 10 minute drive for him. But Tom's contacted Mark from Northleaf, he's going to give us a little tour inside in a bit. There's Northleaf's landmark and old windmill. Bit of a track to get to it. It will be. I reckon it's haunted, do you? Yeah. Mm. Oh, there you go. That's the sights. Here we are in the club bar, nice and early. That's a trophy collection. And they have a nice little brew short here. I swear, I, was, I thought it was Jesse Marsh for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> Leeds fan, he likes that. <laughs> So a member of staff, Mark Bosley, has allowed us access into the changing rooms. Let's have a look. Here we are, changing rooms. Wow, not had this kind of access to a club on ground hopping before. Remember doing rugby and PE at school and the sheer amount of glass you track into these? Oh god. So if it, the sound when you walk in on the studs is satisfying yeah, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so me away dressing rooms, now let's have a look at the home. Oh, this is nice. like it. So we're paying tribute in the club bar to a fan who passed away a couple of years ago, Lloyd Calcutt. They've got a shirt for him as well. It's very nice. Not bad at all. Tactics explore nice little 2000s TV. Oh, I like it. Oh, what's the hell we got here? It's a fine wheel. Ah, <laughs> double fine quadruple. Oh, my. <laughs> this guy's got some nice boots. Oh, look. <laughs> Do not clean boots in the showers, fine, 50 pounds. That, a Northley branded beatbox. Absolutely brilliant. I, I can't do it, I feel like I'm doing it. You've got a fucking time to get three points! Nice. <laughs> 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 the warm up. Well, Matt's very kindly allowed us to knock ourselves out before anyone gets here. So I wander around, Tom's doing a pitch invasion. We're more well behaved. <laughs> Lovely day for it. Lovely sunny winter day. Feels like a long time since I've stepped foot on an actual pitch. Never get this kind of access. In a few hours we'll be seeing players running around in this pitch. If only we had a ball with us. I've just said that when we both started out, we just wanted to give people a bit of publicity. But the fact that we're actually here on a pitch for a team, it's it's unreal. It's amazing. <laughs> like, it just shows how far we both come. Oh, yes. And I know it's only Northley, and no disrespect to Northley, but thank you so much to them for letting us do this. We've, we've been treated like royalty. It's absolutely amazing. All Northley, aren't we? <laughs> hey, do you remember when we were in Chorley? And you were like, oh no, we can't go on the pitch, even though like everybody else is on the pitch. <laughs> I didn't want to get arrested at the start of the holiday. Then, to be fair, like, I did go on the pitch and then these like stewards were getting really annoyed with me. <laughs> so. We were on the pitch at Cheltenham Saracens as well. You yeah, were like, again, you, you... I don't think, to be fair, we only went towards a goal with Cheltenham Saracens. Do I go to the to dugout? Yes, please. That is a good dugout. That is old fashioned. I absolutely love it. Yeah. It's like saying straight from a 70s film. And in the away dugout, we have Steve McLaren, the Wally with the Brolly. <laughs> I'm 
So we're here with Mark Bosley, the man who's allowed us this unprecedented access to Northley. Tell us a bit about yourself and what you do. Of course, uh, so my name's Mark. I'm a first team fixture secretary here at Northley. So that's uh, it's looking after all the arrangements for first team games, etc. Uh, making sure everything runs smoothly on a match day, really. Um, but also sit on the club's board, so get helping out with all the wider stuff of running the club. So that could be emptying the bins on a Sunday morning or dealing with grant applications or you, you name it, we get involved with it, really. Okay. And what does Northley mean to the local community? Uh, I think Northley, I think like any football club, it's, it's, it's a hub, it's a place where people can come on a Saturday afternoon and have a drink, have a socialise, have a bit of a laugh and, and enjoy football mainly. So it's, uh, yeah, it's probably a focal point, isn't it? That's what I'd say. Okay. And for ground hoppers like myself, uh, when they come here, what can they expect to see? A warm welcome. Without shadow of a doubt, a warm welcome. I think that's something we always try and pride ourselves on and, and, and put to the top of the list of things to do. Um, so, yeah, definitely a warm welcome, a fun welcome, hopefully a, a good, fun afternoon. Um, not sure about the action on the pitch at the moment. We're not doing the best for there, shall we say. But, um, yeah, hopefully a good game of football as well. Yeah, And you, you've certainly proven that you do provide a warm welcome today. Brilliant. Um, last question, what are North Lee's ambitions for the future? Well, ambitions for the future, well, probably they, they probably look at those in two aspects. I think in the short term, we're in step three, we want to stay at step three without a shadow of a doubt um, and then establish ourselves at step three. Um, but further than that, just continued investment in the site that you see around you, um, improving things and, and just making the club bigger and better, frankly. Brilliant. All right, Bosley, thank you for your time and for the access you've given us. <laughs> I've got my precious coffee. I must say, coffee out of polystyrene cups is criminally underrated. I know it's a weird sentence, but if you know, you know. All right, a tradition, cheesy chips, let's eat. Well, oh, now I've got my pint of madri, all very good. So, we've had an absolute fantastic welcome. The staff were brilliant to us. They were showing us around, pulling out all the shirts on the walls, telling us the significance of them. Absolutely fantastic welcome. They've been absolutely lovely to us. And thank you, Mark, for all the access you gave us. That was amazing. So, we're about to take our seats, but before we do, let's find out a little bit about today's hosts, Northley. Northley were founded in 1908, but struggled to find any success until the 1940s, when they won the second division of the Whitney and District League, the Ted Young Senior Challenge Cup, and the Watts Junior Challenge Cup in 1948. They would win the Premier Division of the Whitney and District League six times in the 1950s, and had a spell in the Oxfordshire Senior League. The 1980s saw further success, as they would win the Whitney and District League six more times between 1984 and 1990. They achieved promotion to Hellenic League Premier Division in 1993, and later won this league in 2002 and 2003, but their stadium did not meet the requirements to be promoted. However, in 2008, following a treble of the Hellenic Premier Division, Hellenic League Shield and the Oxfordshire Senior Cup, they are promoted to Premier Division 1 South of the Southern League, after their stadium finally received FA approval. They spent many years in this division, winning two more Oxfordshire Senior Cups in the meantime, and were transferred to the Division 1 Central of the Southern League in 2018. They qualified for the playoffs in 2022, after Wellwyn, Carden City were disqualified, and they defeated Ware 4-2 in the final to seal promotion to Premier Division South. Now, in the seventh tier, higher than they ever have been before, the future is bright for the Oxfordshire side. Overall, they have won three Hellenic Premier Division titles, one Hellenic League Shield, 12 Whitney and District League titles, and three Oxfordshire Senior Cups. And a bit of trivia, the club badge has a windmill on it in honour of the North Lee Windmill in the town centre, a structure that has stood since 1833. So those are our hosts, North Lee. Let's have a look inside their home, Ancient Park. All right then, about an hour before kickoff, Tom Scott is... Normally eat hot chocolate. Say what you said to me. Right. What? Well, cost... Oh my god, it's so hot, this hot chocolate could solve the energy crisis, I can tell you. <laughs> oh, Luke's gone for a man of fine taste, gone for a mad tree. You should have just had a lovely cheeseburger. Yeah, the food here is good, cheesy chips went down well. Luke's enjoyed his cheeseburger. I like my little sandwich. Oh, yes, they do very good rolls here. They're very nice. Cheese and onion, cheese and ham. The customary pin badge, £4, fair play. That is a gorgeous badge. I look lovely on my jacket. I gave in to temptation to non league hot chocolate to keep myself warm. What a strange place to do that. 
we are about midway through the first half here. Northley have been a better team, but nobody's really had any concrete chances yet. It seems to be a curse for not these non-league games that they end up nil-nil. Hopefully that'll change, but as it stands, it is indeed nil-nil. <laughs> Thirty-two minutes in, and Hendon take the lead. The number seven was thrown goal, and he's rounded the keeper just like Torres against Valdez. And Hendon, the away side, have taken the lead. The deadlock is broken. We won't be seeing a nil-nil. Northley nil, Hendon one. Half time here at Ancient Park. Hendon have the advantage with the goal. Northley had a good chance towards the end of the half, but apart from that, there's not really been any other significant chances. I think it could be an interesting second half. I think it's going to go two ways. Either the 1 0 lead will remain or Northley will come back. But, you know, it's a two teams around the relegation zone. It's a big game, a six pointer. So it's just a case of who wants it more. Not been the best game, but still another half for plenty to happen. Half time, 1 0 to Hendon. Midway through the second half, Northley have grown into it and creating the odd chance, but can't seem to find anything concrete. I feel it's likely that Hendon will probably see this out. It'll be a typical non-league away 1-0 win like we're so used to, but I could be proven wrong. Come on, Northley. Let's get something out of this. Still 1-0. <laughs> Hendon doubled their lead after a kerfuffle in the North League box. Eventually, the referee calms it down. The corner's been swung in, and the number two just there has headed it in for two now, and a passionate celebration to go with it. It looks like Hendon have sealed the three points. Full time, and in the end, it is indeed Hendon who take the three points. I would say it's fair. They took their chances and as a result, they've been rewarded with a 2-0 win. Good luck to Northley for the rest of the season, though. I hope they can survive in the relegation battle and push on. Yeah, we'd we'll like to see them win after the welcome we've received, but ho-hum, it happens. We seem to be, we seem to have an away team curse every time we go to non-league games like this, the away side wins. But yeah, full-time, 2-0 to Hendon. Let's see how the rest of the season shapes up for the two sides. And so we end the day once again in the Weatherspoons. I got one of those underrated beers, Tusker. It is a Kenyan beer. Ah, good stuff. <laughs> uh, he hasn't stopped crying me on that Q&A for that. Anyway, so Northley. Yes, absolutely lovely welcome. Definitely one of the best. And it's great to have had, you know, access to all the stuff behind the scenes because that's... I said that's not happening yet on ground to ground, so thank you, Mark, for doing that. Can't describe how good that is, but we'll have to make sure we do it again with other teams. It's a really shame we couldn't see Northley win, but we've had a lovely time. We seem to have a thing with Oxfordshire clubs. We always get a good welcome, always have a good time. And the important thing that I forgot to mention at the start of the vlog, this is ground number 50 for me. Obviously, not all of them have been... Inside vlog. Thank you, Luke. He's giving me a round of applause. Not all of them have been ones I've vlogged because obviously I've done before I did AFC Finners. But yeah, 50 grounds I have seen a game of football at. Catching Tom up. How many are you on, Tom? 73. 73. Luke, do you know how many? Uh, 20, I guess. I'm in, I'm in second get, spot. Get I'll pip him to the title. But yeah, thank you, Mark and everyone at Northley for your accommodation. We've had a lovely time. And it's a really cool club, situated in a little forest on the edge of a village. Can't go wrong with it. Very good welcome, very good food, drink. So, thoroughly recommend it. We will be at more ground soon. I can't remember exactly what the next one is, but in the meantime, thank you all for watching. We're on to 50. Here's to another 50 as we look to get to 100. I've been AFC Finners. Thank you for watching. And stick with us as we go. Round to ground. Say bye, boys. Bye, boys. Bye, boys. <laughs> See you next time.